right, here we have a Coors 1981 lighted beer sign up for uh, grabs on eBay. I'm going to go through it um, in the light first so I can show you um, some flaws on it and then we'll turn off the lights and show you how well it works. It does have um, some markings and scuffing around the edging. does have wall brackets for hanging. <clears throat> you can see a little bit better the scratches on the scenery in the light. When it's lighted up, you can barely notice you can see some scratching there, some more there, some up in the mountain part in the sky. This part you can kind of see some markings there. Like I said, when it's lit up, you can not really see it as well. There's a bigger scratch mark kind of cut there I have it unscrewed <clears throat> and um, I'll take pictures of it when it's screwed uh, on for the back but this is what the inside looks like very nice and clean the switch to turn it on and off down at the bottom all right so I'm gonna turn off the lights here and show you how well it works Takes it a second to kick on. Then it has a digital reader board. Reads through a message. I've only seen them with clocks. This is not a clock. Um, there's no way to reprogram what the reader board says. It does its thing and then it repeats the message. Once you turn it off again, and that's after the message is fully gone through, you turn it back on, the reader board is not on. It has that option once the message has fully gone through, you can have that reader board option come on and read and scroll through it and just have just the lighted sign. And then you turn it off and turn it back on. There it goes. I didn't do it fast enough. Um, then it will read through the message again. It's a pretty neat option there. Um, as you can tell when it's lit, not as many of the scratches can be seen. You can see the one cut though um, on some of them. And there you can read the 
those ones you can see a little bit better just because they're in a um, lighter area. Some of these scratches that were there I pointed out earlier are a little bit less visible. That one right there, a little bit more of a cut there too. So this will be sold under Wicket 6640 in Salem, Missouri. That way you know this is the video that goes with that auction and it's not just some random video pulled off of YouTube. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me and message me. I will put um, some more pictures on the site um, and go from there. Alright, thank you very much.